Good evening. This is KMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith for you on this Monday evening. Taking a look at the latest drought monitor, if you recall, that was released last Thursday, that exceptional drought area really expanded into our counties in southern Minnesota and north Iowa. Now, we had some very beneficial rainfall over the weekend, which is a great thing to see. Anywhere from one to up to four inches of rain in several of, of the areas here. And we're just gonna take a look at the, at the precipitation totals as they're painted over the drought monitor. And you can see some of those larger totals in the blues and purples kind of coincide with that dark maroon exceptional drought. So we're hoping to see some improvement in the drought conditions when the next drought monitor is released this Thursday. Now the drought monitor will capture rainfall totals through tomorrow morning at about 7 a.m. So all of this weekend's rain will be included in this week's drought monitor. So that'll be really interesting to watch for coming up this Thursday. Now timing out things for the next 36 hours or so, we've got a lo low pressure system that's kind of spinning out there just north of Rochester near the Twin Cities. And you can see as we go through that that low pressure system is moving to the south and the east. And as it does so, it's going to bring more of those isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms and bring us more of that beneficial rainfall that we saw since last weekend. So the more rain we can get over the next few days, we will definitely take it. Any help that we can get for those drought conditions will be great. Now tonight, we're looking at 57 degrees with some scattered thunderstorms, north and east winds, five to 10 miles per hour. And we're not really going to rise up much tomorrow as the showers stick around, really no sunshine, just a lot of overcast skies. So we're looking at about mid to upper 60s for the day, uh, uh, keeping those winds out of the north and east, five to 10 miles per hour. Now the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view, that rain is going to move out by Wednesday afternoon and the clouds are going to part and we're going to dry out and warm up and take a look at the weekend. We're going to be heading 80 degrees again and with no rain, warm weather, no clouds, it's going to be a great opportunity to get out there and really do some leaf peeping as the leaves are really getting starting to change and fall and just lo looking great for the weekend. Enjoy!